127,000 for that big animal. Oh, he's not, he's mean. Run away, <laughs> he's mean. And welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, answer a communication that has to deal with the Artemis quest line. And we're gonna gear up to, to go harvest, or gather rather, some, um, gather rather, <laughs> um, some salvage technology on a, a nearby planet. So I am in my freighter at the moment, going back into the build area here. Uh, another thing I wanna work on really soon here is I want to get uh, our storage going. So the storage for in here, um, which I guess we can, we pop into the wall there, uh, requires uh, sodium and magnetized ferrite. So we need to go farm up a bunch of magnetized ferrite so I can make all of these uh, containers. So it takes 50 per container and we can do a total of 10 containers. So we're going to need 500 magnetized ferrite and then uh, looks like about 200 sodium to make all of those. So that's kind of what's on the agenda for today. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, don't forget also it uh, is very helpful if you share out the video and if you leave a comment. All those things do definitely help the channel and I appreciate it. Okay, let's get started here. So I guess all this stuff here is just kind of decorative. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. I'm not really too worried about that. The first thing though that I want to do is I want to get going on the... Does that do anything? It's like an access panel. <clears throat> I want to get going on the uh, 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 Artemis thing. And the reason being is because it keeps... Every time I get in my ship, it sends like this a little alert signal thing. And it's driving me nuts. <laughs> but it's not something I wanted to do off camera. I wanted to show it to you guys because it's an important part of the next quest line uh, having to deal with Artemis. Okay, so let's go ahead and take off here. <clears throat> we'll get outside of our capital ship and let's answer this incoming transmission. <clears throat> okay. Gazit? Where? Gazit? Is there anyone Gazit out there? It's outside. It Gazit something's wrong with. Identify yourself. I tell the stranger that I can hear them. There is a moment's pause. The only sound I hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. <clears throat> you, you found me. There's no little light, or there's so little light. I thought I'd never hear another sound again. I really did. How did you find my voice? Say you found a crashed ship, which we did. I tell the stranger about the abandoned starship wreck and how I found their communicator ID in the distress beacon. I begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. It's outside, but I think I'm Kazit safe. There are 16 of them. They look just like Kazit. Ask about the 16. Eh, let's ask where they are. Fear and confusion dance within the eyes of the stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turn to me, imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? You Kazit. It lied to me. It lied to all of... The sound cuts out, but their face lingers on, silent before it too fades into nothingness. In the communication. This must be Artemis, and they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signal. Okay. Locate a long-distance transmitter. Objective updated. So, um, does that now give us... This ship is so hard to control. I don't know if it's the type of ship or if it's just VR, but it's really hard to to turn this and get it to go where I need it to go with any precision. Um, okay. What's that? Is that just like a, a frigate or something that's following our fleet? I don't even know if we own frigates. I, I'm assuming we probably do, because it is in formation with our fleet. Can we can we dock on these things? Oh yeah, there is a 
There's a little docking thing. Let's go check this out for a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> Uh, traveler friend, the crew have been busy surveying and processing both planetary deposits and local asteroids. The minerals are yours, should you want them. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Oh, look at that. We, that's what we needed, is magnetized ferrite. We needed 200 in total, but that... Wait, was that right, 200? No, 500. Can... can we can't get out of here, can we? Because we're still in space. Oh, we can. Oh, wow, check that out. <laughs> That's cool. Nifty. Here, we bet we need to turn this on. It's really dark. So, okay, so I guess we do want a frigate then. More landing pads on that side. <laughs> Let's go. To, let's just check this ship out real quick. I didn't even know we could get on the frigates. I thought we could only get on the freighters. There's a ladder there. What do we got going on over here? Wow. Trippy. <clears throat> Is that like a... I don't know what that is. It looks like it might be a, a thruster for the ship or something. Can we do anything here at this console? Uh -uh. Oh, I can't... Uh, can't seem to move past this point. Guess they don't want me to go past there. <clears throat> Huh. Really weird. Okay, let's go up this ladder here. Uh-oh. Maybe I can't go up that ladder. It's not giving me an option to climb it. Are these going to be the same? Huh. Maybe I'm not supposed to. This is a trip, though, sitting out here. <laughs> On the edge of the ship, just looking right out into space. How about this one? Nope. All right. Well, yeah, okay, we'll try this one, too. Might as well. Nope. Nothing. Not a thing. What is this? Huh, I don't know what that is. Okay. So can we go through up and through here? Nope. That doesn't let us do anything either. <clears throat> okay, well. Oh, we didn't go up here. Yeah, let's go up here. Oh yeah, we did. This is basically like the same thing just on the other side. I would suppose these ladders don't work then either. Nope, okay. Well now we know. <clears throat> Can you actually fall off the ship? <laughs> That'd be weird. It's just, it's, <clears throat> even though we can't really do anything on here, at least as far as I can tell, it's still really cool that we can even just land on it at all and walk around a little bit. Very neat. Okay. Whoa, VR just freaking out. Here we go. Let's hop back in our ship here. Wait a minute, we might have bigger problems. Oh. Oh, shit, that's why I couldn't. I had that flashlight thing on the whole time. Alright, doggone it. Let's go back over here. When the when the menu on the left is open, you can't use the... There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so these are like observa observation thingies. Whoa! Did that hurt? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go back up there. Uh, 
Now it won't let me go up there. What? What the hell? Okay, let's try this one. Okay, can I do anything here? This is so bizarre. Okay. Uh, we need to be careful not to fall down there this time. It's not giving me the option to go back down. Alright, well, here we go. <laughs> uh, cool. Let's take a quick look just to make sure. Airlock control unit. Oh. Pull to use. Airlock control unit. Frigate component. Return. Servo arm. Small mechanical joint used to connect small mechanical errors across the device. Uh, a malfunction is causing it to take uh, functional components and push them into the wrong place, creating even more damage. We need to repair that thing. Repair this technology. Okay, we need pure ferret. Do we have any in the ship? I don't think we do. We could make some. Will it let us build this right here? Nope, it won't. Uh, I wonder if we can build out by out on the on the deck where our ship is. Nope. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to come back here later and fix that. Pretty cool though. Pretty darn cool. Okay. So, um. Let's, so that's the next thing we need to do, locate a long distance transmitter. Did we even see that thing though? Marked at all? Let's look at the, look at this. Alone amidst the stars. Locate a long distance transmitter. After returning to my ship, a stranger identifying themselves as Artemis contacted me. Static and interference rendered communication difficult, but it's clear that Artemis needs my help. I must find a way to boost to signal before it's too late. Oh, we got pirates messing with us again. Continue the search. The Atlas Path. Search for answers. Not in Apollo. Promise to help me. Like, explore the galaxy. They have marked a black hole for me on my map. Alright, we gotta go. We gotta move here. Will my freighter help protect against these guys? It does have guns. Let's see. I just want to see if the freighter will fire on me. Whoa! Oh, we just docked. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. You know what we could do while we're here is we could actually uh, set up our little refiner up in the base area and uh, make that pure ferrite and go back and repair that ship. <clears throat> Let's set it up right here in the closest place to the to the flight deck that we can get to. <clears throat> so that way when we need to use it we don't have to run like all the way back until we get the actual base area built. Okay, so it said it needed um, pure ferrite. I don't remember how much it said, so let's process all of that, and then we'll see, you know, how much that gives us. There we go. Traveler, friend, the crib been busy surveying processes in both places. Really, you got more minerals for me? Oh wow! Huh, that's really cool. So every now and then you can come back here and I guess they stock you up. I wonder if you can change, you know, what minerals they they give you. But he's actually given us enough magnetized ferrite, ferrite to where we can actually set up a couple of storage units back on the radar now. Alright, let's see if we can fix this thing. All right, we fixed it. Okay. 
So that closed that door. It said it was an airlock control unit. It still sounds like something's glitching out over there though, doesn't it? Whoa! We're just leaning up against the rail of our very own frigate looking out into space. <laughs> so cool. And even more so in VR. Okay, does this need fixing? See, the airlock is still busted up on there, but it's not giving me the option to... Alright, let's go up here. Nothing there. If we come around to this side, can we do anything? No? Hmm, I don't know. That's really weird. Okay, well... I guess we've done all we can do for it for now. Maybe later on more will happen that we can fix. It's a really neat experience, uh, particularly in VR, to walk around, you know, on these huge ships. Re you really feel like you're on a starship. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we're just going to kind of install our storage along the walls here. And uh, my understanding, too, is that we can actually take a lot of this stuff down. So let's do this. Let's get into the build menu. And uh, A is the delete button. So, yeah, we can delete that stuff. So it's not doing anything. We can't do anything with it as far as I know. What happens if we delete that? Uh, it added another wall there. What? That was weird. Uh, okay. So this... So what we must have to do then is we must have to... Let's go to general, base salvage capsule. Oh, I've heard about this thing. We should probably set one of these up, so that way anything we take down, I guess, we get the materials back. No, not really sure where to put it, though. It only takes 50 pure ferrite to build. That's not that expensive. So I, I'm going to set it in this corner for now, and if it turns out that uh, we need to move it, we can always recreate it later because it's not that big, uh, not that expensive to make. Does it take any... Previous base item cache. Alright, hold on a sec. I don't I never had a previous base on this server, or this game. Maybe that's the game's way of telling me there's actually nothing in there. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I think what happened here was all of these are rooms that you have to put in, and because I deleted it, it just took it back out. That's my guess. So let's go back to freighter, and large freighter room. Yeah. Okay. It costs silver and tritium. What's what's the normal freighter room? Large freighter room. Oh. I guess they have different uh that's a corner. Corridor, junction stairs. Fleet control room. What's that do?
it's a different style of room. It looks like it's got like um, windows. Oh wow, how far back can you go with this? Oh, that's crazy. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I guess this is a room with windows, but because it's not like on an outside well no, it's the same as these. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the difference is between this room freighter room large in this room on here it looks to me like there's other something somethings there but I don't know hmm okay well I wasn't planning on spending a lot of time doing this so what I want to do for now is I just want to get storage going can we also go th this way? We can. We can probably go all the way out to the hallway where the where our thingy is. So it looks like we can put six there. Okay, well, the thing is, is I want to, you know, I want to do this in a way that makes a good layout, because this is actually going to be our base for a while. So if we come back out here, we probably can't, oh, we can build all the way out here. What about this way? Huh. We can even go that direction, too. All the way up to the bridge, maybe? All right, well, <clears throat> I've never seen anybody do this, uh, you know, like on any videos or anything. And obviously, I've never done it myself. So let's just... Um, Let's just come back here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the storage along this wall, okay? And we'll just see how far we can go with it. So we'll start with zero. Let's do one here. That's really weird for a storage room. Can we keep going back this way? We can. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I can't fall through here, can I? No. Phew. Okay. <laughs> Scared me. Um, okay, we'll put three in here. Cannot build missing components. Oh, we're out of ferrite. Okay. Can we do anything with these? Oh, yeah. That's just like opening the storage container, just like we would if we were at a base. Man, that is so neat. Okay, so we're yeah we're gonna have to we're gonna have to bring back uh, some more magnetized ferrite with us. Now, I want to look at this again for a second. I don't know why it keeps saying that. Inventory full. I'm really curious to find, you know, to know how far back you can build on this thing. If we go back to here and we just choose the room. Because it's, it's just using silver and tritanium. Well, we just it ran out of silver, though. Okay. 
Well, I might have to farm up a bunch of silver, you know, just go hit a bunch of asteroids. But I, what I want to know is I want to know what the the limits of this room are, you know, how far back it goes and stuff. Whoop, VR just freaked out on me. Okay, well, anyway, let's, um, since we've got some storage here now, I want to do a couple things real quick. So let's go to here. And this is just, you know, kind of like the ship's main storage. So if we take quick transfer. Not on board freighter. Container inventory storage. What? I am too on board the freighter. Cannot build bases out of range. But it's right here. <laughs> here, let's try that again. Um, we wanted to put the, this, no, not on board freighter. That doesn't make any sense. I'm on board the freighter and I'm sitting right here in front of the storage. Do I have to actually, this is my exosuit. Uh, so do I have to actually put this in, like, physically? Well, you know what I mean when I say physically. Quick transfer. Out of my own suit? Why would you have to do that? That doesn't make sense. You can transfer everything else automatically. Why not this stuff? All right. Well, let's... We'll put that in our... Our exosuit. I have some extra sodium diodes and some extra cobalt mares because we'll need them later on. Extra wiring looms. I want to take all this nav data. I mean, we already have a bunch of star charts as it is that we've got to. So those will only stack up to 10. All right, let's put the wiring loom, the cobalt mirror, and the diodes in that one. Now, I guess we have to access this one too. Interesting, okay. I just find it interesting that we have to ma access these manually when everything else we can automatically transfer. But I guess that's, it. that's the way it works. That's the way it works. All right, the rest of this stuff, I think we're going to want to sell um, at some point. So we don't need to really store it here. I need to take these back to the anomaly. Um, let's put these, let's store these two, these data pad thingies. I'm going to keep those with me. We'll keep the silver, gold, and tread on here because we need it for building stuff. But we are kind of low on the silver at the moment. <clears throat> the thing about this is it's, you know, there's so many different... Um, places to store stuff that it's like... It's like, where do I put this? I can put it here, I can put it there. So I'm going to put all of the nav data in this second one that we have. And we'll put like components in this one for now. Alright, everything else I think we want to keep with us. You know what doesn't make sense though? I think something's still not quite right because if I do, you know, quick transfer... Oh, now I can access it. What? <laughs> something, something was just buggy there. That's all it was. Something was just buggy there. Let's put this on the freighter. We're gonna and the and the trip too. We'll recharge this first. All the rest of that stuff we're gonna sell. Um, well, you know what though, we can actually turn these into gold too.
Uh, where did the gold go? Uh, I guess it went into my inventory. Uh, okay. Put this on the freighter too. And this can go on the freighter. I am so loving this game, you guys. So many cool things to do. Uh, Alright, I think we'll keep the rest of the stuff with us for now. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to keep building up my cargo so that we can start storing some of the stuff that we normally want to keep with us all the time. But I need, I want to get a few more slots first. So, what do we need to finish this? Silver, okay, right, so I'm going to go farm up some silver. I'll do that off camera, of course. Uh, just because here again, I want to know what the extent is that you can build this out to. There, I mean, because there's a lot of space in here. A lot of space. But I want to spend some time now just trying to make some money. Okay, so this is the planet we're going to go to. Um, and it has salvageable scrap. It's a nuclear planet. It also has uranium and copper, the two things that we need to get our nuclear filter doohickey that helps protect us built. I also am going to mine up a full stack of uranium that we can use for our thruster fuel and get a bunch of salvage. So that's our plan for this planet here. Wow, okay. So we got hostile critters. There's like three or four different critters around here that we can scan. Okay, so let's see if we can get a scan on him. Now watch how much money I get from this because of our upgrade. 68,000 just for scanning that little bastard. So 42,000 for that little feller there. 68,000 for that thing. Oh, well, it didn't take much to kill him. A wolf with a horn on his head. Is he mean? He doesn't have a red paw. He looks like he's eating something. Wow, you are a cool looking dude. He's like grazing on some plants. I don't think his textures are working very well though. <laughs> Neat. Neat, neat, neat. Okay. I love that stuff. I love it. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Holy smokes. One hundred and twenty seven thousand for that big animal. Oh, he's not he's mean! Run away! <laughs> he's mean! What the hell? Sentinels, he was like attacking me. Or he was going to attack me. That was scary. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's go ahead and skedaddle out of here. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine up the uranium. I'm going to mine up some copper so that we can get our thingy, this thing here going for us. It'll give us 21% radiation resistance, which is going to help. And then we're going to go after uh, salvage tech. And I showed you guys, I already showed you guys that in a previous video. So I probably won't, uh, you know, do that on camera or do much of that on camera anyways. So when I come back, the plan is, unless something else happens uh, that I need to bring you back sooner, uh, I'm just going to going to do a bunch of off-camera stuff to make money. And uh, hopefully, you know, because right now we, we're at about 11 mil, 11.3 mil. And I want to, I want to get that. Um, up significantly so that you know when we come across a really badass ship or multi-tool or something we'll, we'll have the money to uh, to deal with it okay so that's what we're gonna do and I will see you in the next episode whenever that may be when we will continue this awesome awesome adventure in no man's sky guys have a great rest of your day thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe to the channel share on your social media if you would and leave a comment all those things are very helpful to the channel and I do appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.